So let's, let's start right at the top of your handout there. We're going to talk about cells. So let's just talk at first about the quantity of cells in your body. How many cells are there in your human body? Is it hundreds, thousands, millions, billions? What is it? How do you know that? It's on the handout. Good, okay. That's good. I like people that read my handouts. That helps. Okay, yes, there's trillions of cells. But what does that mean? Um, perhaps in the last couple of months, for the first time, we really have heard quite a bit about hundreds of billions and trillions, right? Where have we heard about that? In the economy. That's right. If you pay any attention to any news media, you've heard that we're, the country is in some trouble financially. And we always kind of see that here because people tend to come back to the community colleges. Our classes tend to get much fuller when the economy kind of goes into the dumps as people are coming back to be retrained or retooled or you know, get a new job or whatever. So it's really important that our government knows this is the place to pour the money to get people back to work so that you know, we're doing well. But yeah, that they're bailing out things, right, to the tune of hundreds of billions of dollars, which are pieces of trillions. We're talking about the national, you know, the, the deficit for this year going into a trillion dollars because of all the money that they're trying to put out to bail out the financial institutions. So, but a, a trillion is a huge number. Some people talk about stacking dollar bills to the moon or, you know, whatever it is. It's an enormous, enormous amount of money. It's an enormous number. When we number the cells in your human body, these little things we can't see, we number them in the trillions. Now, I, I really like for my students to have an appreciation of this. So, you know, how, what does that number trillion look like? Well, it looks like this. It's actually a million times a million. It's a million millions, right? There's 12 zeros in the number one trillion. Okay, let's use a spending illustration to understand this, okay? Now, to do this, let's start with a more manageable number. It's, it's still fairly big, but it's manageable. I want you to begin with your concept of a million dollars. What, what to you is a million dollars? Is that a lot of money? You know, is it amount of money that just crushes you, or is it it's it's a big amount? Today, it's not quite what it used to be. Uh, you know, when I was growing up, the richest people were millionaires. Oh wow! You know, today the richest people are billionaires, right? And, you know, if, if you had a really good paying job in, you know, several years, you might have earned a million dollars. You know, if you were getting 100000 a year, 10 years, you, you would have earned a million dollars. You know, we have houses. I used to ask about this, you know, what, what could you do with it? You know, how much is a million? What, what could you do with a million dollars? We used to say, oh, you could buy, you know, one or two houses. Things are kind of down in the dumps. You could probably buy three or four of these days, right? You know, how, how long could you live on? If you had a million dollars, could you stretch that out and do pretty well for a while? Yeah. What can you buy with it? I need you to think, you know, let's say somebody was going to give you a million dollars today, but you could only keep it if you could spend it out today. Could you do that? Could you find a way to spend that today? Have it done? Okay. How would it be very difficult, or could you just go out and just do it? Yeah, you could buy, you know, you could go to the, you could get some deals on some automobiles these days. You could probably go out and buy a bunch of automobiles and that kind of thing. Um, there was a funny movie back in the 80s about a guy who had to spend a bunch of money called Brewster's Millions. Anybody ever heard of that? It's a, it's a comedy. It's still, I think it's still in the video stores and stuff. It's about a guy who is like homeless. He's on the street, 
and this lawyer finds him and says, um, you may have just hit the jackpot. You have a rich uncle who died. He wants to leave you $300 million. Whoa, lay it on me, right? $300 million, but there's a catch. He doesn't want to just leave it to anybody. He wants to know he's leaving it to somebody that's going to use it and knows how to spend it. So it's going to be a little, a little test. Right? The lawyer's going to give him $30 million, and he's got 30 days to spend it. Okay? Doesn't sound too tough, does it? The trick is, though, and what makes the movie interesting, is that he can't have anything to show for it at the end of 30 days. If you buy a car, then you own the car, and you still have the value of the money. Right? You buy a house. So you can't just buy things. You can't give it away, that's against the rules. You can't gamble it away, that's against the rules. So what do you spend the money on, then you've got nothing to show for it after it's spent. What? You can't invest it, because then you own the investment, you still have the value of the money. You have to have nothing. He's got to be penniless at the end of 30 days. He's got 30 million, can't give it away, can't gamble it away, can't get rid of it, can't invest it. So what do you spend it on? What? Entertainment, yeah. Let's get you two to come for our party, you know, or let's, you know, let's get some. We could, after the party's over, what have you got? <laughs> Memories, right? <laughs> yeah, right? That's all you got. So yeah, you could do that. You could throw a big party for your friends. What else could you do? Travel, yeah. Let's go around the world. When we come back, what do we got? And my memories and a bunch of photographs, right? That's that's what we got. And all the money's gone. We had a good time, right? Food, right? We can go eat some real expensive meals at some really fancy restaurants, right? Stuff like that. There's places where it's a hundred dollars and you have this little bit of thing on your plate or something, right? So so it's kind of a comedy, but this kind of sets us up to think about how big some of these numbers are. Okay, so let's, let's start with a smaller number. Let's think about spending a million dollars every day. Let's think about all these days. Let's start with a billion. Okay, there are all sorts of rich people with a billion, so let's go to a rich person like Bill. You know who's the richest man in America? Bill Gates, right? Owner of Microsoft, or the, the guy that mo owns most of the stock in Microsoft. He's got, he's got billions, so we'll go to Bill, and we'll borrow a billion from him, and let's spend it at a million dollars each and every day. So I got a billion there, and I spend a million today, and I spend a million tomorrow. And so I want to know how long would it take me to spend that one billion dollars? Okay? How long would that take? So a million dollars in one day. So really what I'm asking, this is what a billion looks like, right? And how many days would it take me to spend the billion dollars? How many? Not a million days. Okay, I lined up all of the zeros here so you can see them, right? If there's one of those, how many of those do I need to get to here? A thousand, isn't it? Right? Does everybody see that? See if there's there's a thousand millions and a billion. So it would take me a thousand days. How long is that? A thousand days is almost three years. Now just think about that. Bill gives me a billion. I spend a million today and a million tomorrow, three years from now. January 2012, <coughs> I finally finished spending that many dollars. Is that a lot of money? Will Bill ever be able to spend it all? Not at, not, not at that rate. And that's an amazing rate, isn't it? A million dollars of your money going out every single day. Now that's just a one billion. If Bill has 50 billions, it would take him 150 years to spend it like that. He wouldn't, he wouldn't live it. Now, 
you know, kudos to him. He's, he's got a foundation and he's giving a lot of the money. He's solving a lot of different problems in the world with his money and good for him for that. So that's a billion. Now that's only a billion. Let's go to a trillion now. Uh, there's nobody that's got a trillion, but the government's kind of bailing everybody out. Let's see if they'll give us a trillion, okay? So let's spend a trillion dollars now. We're still going to spend it one million each and every day. How long? Now let's look, let's look at the zeros again. There was a million dollars per day, right? A billion dollars took us three years. A trillion dollars would take us how many years? Not a million years. This, this really catches, most people can't figure this out because it's just hard to believe. Right? If it took us three years to do this, to spend that billion, and how many billions are there in this trillion? Look at Look at the numbers. See that one is right there? And how much bigger is this than that? It's a thousand times bigger, isn't it? So a thousand of those are in here. Three thousand years. If you have one trillion dollars and you spend a million dollars each and every day, it takes you 3,000 years worth of days to spend $1 trillion. Now, these are the kind of numbers our government are throwing around. You start spending money at the year zero every single day since the year zero. You've spent a million dollars, and you've got 1,000 years to go. Okay, that's a trillion. How much money is that? Now, your human body is composed of trillions of cells. Take this sort of feel of how big that is and apply that to your human body. About how many? Well, it's the average sized person, we sort of calculate that there's not even one trillion, but 70 times that, 70 trillion cells in this package right here. How do you squeeze that many things into this? They have to be awfully small, don't they? They've got to be really, really, really tiny, and of course they are. But it creates a tremendous amount of complexity it also gives us a little bit of overlap. We probably have a few extra cells that we could get, you know, that could die or we could get rid of, and we're still going to be okay because there's tons of them. But you want to start with this basic concept with, oh my goodness, look how many living cells there are in my human body. Each and every single one is alive. We don't, we don't, even if we added up every human being that's ever lived on the face of the earth, we'd never come even close to this. This is of hundreds of times that number. So let's, knowing how many cells there are in my human body, are there that many different kinds of cells? Well, no, there isn't. The average human body is about 70 trillion cells. How many different types are we, do we have here? And the number is somewhere in the couple of hundred. And depending upon whether you think these two cells are so much alike that they're really the same or they're different, um, I've seen different textbooks that will tell us it's somewhere between 210, say 220, somewhere in the very low 200s, is the number of different kinds of cells in my human body. And so what does that mean? Well, that means there must be like hundreds of billions, thousands, millions. There's, there's huge numbers of most of the cells in my human body. So there's lots and lots and lots of the same kind of cell. 
So huge, huge numbers of cells and, and a fairly large number of different types of cells. Now one of the things that I've done is I've given you these handouts so you can see just a few of the different types of cells there are. You've got eight out of the 210 to look at. And one of the things that I want you to notice is how different they are. Sometimes people will purport to show you what a cell looks like. It's very hard to show you what a cell looks like because they all look so different. 